Greetings, defenders of the cult compound. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Anomaly Death Cult, episode 64, Slice and Swarm. We'll go over regeneration effect bionic parts. Um, they regenerate. So the way the game treats it is the, the regeneration is HP per day and the bionic parts have HP, right? Like a power claw is like 20 HP. So it regenerates bionics as fast as it regenerates non-bionics. It makes no difference, which is nice. So that we end up with um, bionic ghouls that are near unkillable. All right, here we go. Launch. Would you invest power claws for the ghouls? That's, I'm literally making one right now, blood mess. So yes, I would. The stronger the ghouls, the better. Oh, you guys are tribal. Rip you guys. It's too bad that I didn't send a Valka with a um, shock lance because I could have shopped around for another ghoul if I had a shock lance, but I don't, so oh well. Surprise reinforcements! You can reinforce all you want, friends. My ghouls are very scary, and you guys are very squishy. Yeah, you're already fleeing. Like, what did you... what did you stand again here? So, Mr. Cataracts is probably not going to be someone that we uh, turn into a ghoul. Body purist? Yeah, it's not going to work for me. What about you? A lot of lust? Yeah, that doesn't really matter to a ghoul either. Um, let's keep going. Yeah, you can see how powerful the ghouls are against tribals. Is like, our ghouls, there were 22 enemies here, and our ghouls were honestly are barely injured. And we just like plowed through the tribals as if they were nothing. And that's without power claws? Jogger? Oh. You'd be a good ghoul. You'd be a real good ghoul. All right, well, let's try to capture Worm and ghoulify him. Because Jogger trait is one of my, one of the best things that a ghoul could have as a trait. Jogger, tough, nimble, brawler. Those are the four that are probably the most impactful. You got back up. Bye-bye, Flamingo. All right, you are going to be healed. Let's check out the rest of their little village. And uh, ghouls, you have the munchies? Yeah, here you go. The others, obviously, I could, like, capture and turn into organs. Hmm... Mm, you know, more effort than it's worth. I'm just gonna kill them. We're not hurting for silver back home. Uh, so, I'd rather just keep it simple. Not add so much micromanagement to my, uh, to my work bill. Nice doors. Real fake door. Uh, is this another real fake door? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Oh. Well, it's time for you guys to get home. Oops. Over here. Reform caravan.
Actually, I don't really care for the pemmican. I will take the... Oh, I don't have carry weight for it. Yeah, I'll take the uranium cage because I'm low on uranium. All right, so we have uh, breachers coming in. It's probably the... Oh, no, they're impets. Darth Rain. Go get your stuff back on. And ghouls are on the move. Avaka capture worm. And we'll ghoulify him once I have a shard. I don't have a shard at the moment. Some firefighter armor would be nice. The firefighter armor is um is locked behind cataphract armor because it's a uh, phoenix armor. So it, it will be a while until I get that. Speaking of which, tech print, air dog, apply. Now I do have, um, my ghouls are fire resistant. As you can see, they're harder to set fire and uh, flame damage is lowered. So they're actually pretty well designed to kill impids like this, which is good because there's a hell of a lot of impids to kill. Uh, if we have another ghoul that we're gonna ghoulify, plating, adrenal heart, barbs, and Raising the serums up to seven. The other thing is if I stand amongst the other impids, when they breathe fire, they will also set themselves on fire. So there's a little bit of like defense in the fact that I'm standing on top, so they're setting themselves on fire as well. So it's like, if I burn, you burn. Mutually assured destruction. Moxie's having trouble getting out of the fire though. Okay, Valka, Worm. Uh, so that Worm doesn't die, I'm going to temporarily implant them with Blood Bag until I have a shard to turn him into a ghoul. All right, they're already fleeing. And there might be some ghoul. Nimble is not bad for ghoul. He doesn't have like passions in melee, whereas the other one does. Uh, but Nimble's not terrible. So maybe Thalks. Here, Avaka, come out here. Jazz, you'll do the uh, implantation. Oh, here's a jogger. He's downed. We can get another jogger. Uh, Major Mildew. Ghouls. Stand next to this guy. Try to keep him from burning to death. Crack it, Dave. You're, you're good. Avaka's coming out here to skip them to protection. So here we go. Skipped. Oh, uh, Dave, come back. Capture. Oh, I don't have enough Humogen to uh, to coagulate Thauks here, so I'm just going to have to patch him up. Uh, double out? Yeah, his asthma won't matter. Alright, ghouls, keep putting out the fire. Thank you. Well, that was easy. 
got delivered another two potential ghouls. So, there's another one. He is also going to need the blood bag xenogerm. And I'll take this dude's organs. A Dark Scholar. Ooh, all right. A Dark Scholar covered in twisted scars is approaching the colony. He wants to talk. Well, you sure have the scars. So you're a Night Owl Psychopath that has Shape Flesh. You know, I already have a Shape Flesher. His name is Mike. So we have three potential ghoul recipients. Worm, who's a jogger, um, another jogger, and a nimble. Uh, I would say the f these two are ideal. Worm and Hotch Chich or whatever, because they have passions in melee, whereas Thaux does not have a passion in melee. Flesh, uh, flesh shape is not the magic healing ability now. That would be unnatural healing. Flesh, uh, uh, I keep saying it wrong. Shape flesh turns a corpse into a flesh beast. Um, but the flesh beast isn't allied to you. It just is. In fact, I'll show you. Because I want more dread leather, I can just make flesh beasts. So here, Mike is targeting this turkey. Turkey turned into a finger spike. And it has only a one hour cooldown. Okay, we do need to cook up some blood bags in our germs, but worm has already been made um, passive. Uh, the question is with Thaux here, should Thaux also become a ghoul? He's kind of on the fence. I, I could go either way. I'll have you guys decide. Let's see if I can't farm Dread Leather this way. I suppose I never thought of it. But if I hit a big enough corpse and turn it into a flesh spike or a tough spike, maybe I can then butcher the tough spike? It's like a way a weird way to farm twisted meat. It's not actually that weird. It's kind of smart. Um And then once you vote on this, uh, I'll have you guys vote on the scarred. Fenwick here. The Night Owl Psychopath who believes in zoot and teeth. Guys are pretty tied. I'll flip a coin if you need me to. Fish pickles. Let's get you the other claw. Ooh. 
failed catastrophically, did you? Oh, yeah, you did. Even a Valk at 20 medicine sometimes makes... Or 19 medicine sometimes makes mistakes. So, long kidney, we wanted your heart. I'm surprised you survived. Uh, I guess I'll take a liver, because I'm not willing to wait for your heart to recover. It looks like uh, the yeas have it. It came out on top. So we're, we're trying to create three ghouls. The next question is, should I summon a pit for shards for the ghouls? It's one of the more reliable methods that we have to be able to get shards. How many shards do I have now, actually? Shard. What happened to my shards? Because we, um... The Neosphere got destroyed. What do we even do with those three, those two shards it dropped? I'm so confused. So the Neosphere blew up. It dropped two shards, and what did I do with those shards? I don't remember doing anything with them. I don't remember using them. Hmm. I don't know. Can they burn? No. They can't burn, they can't get destroyed, you can't even... There's nothing you can do to them to get them damaged in any way, shape, or form. It didn't drop any? Really? Normally it drops too. So it looks like you guys do want me to, um... To, uh, summon a pit. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Um... All right, mechs inside. Everyone else inside. Valka. Wake up Karth and the slaves and summon some pit beasts. Oh, it poured it out. It didn't get destroyed. That's right. The mechs didn't destroy, uh, damage it fast enough. And uh, as a result, uh, we didn't actually destroy it. Because it drops two shards when it gets blown up, but we never blew it up. So, drawing sh Flesh Beasts is a faster ritual than, um, than opening a pit, but after we do this, I'll open the pit. So, let's update the priority. Diabolus is, and make three new ghouls. Another thing I might want to consider is expanding our crafting room a little bit more so that I can have another um, another fabrication bench. Because if we're going to be amping up our ghouls so that they have bionic legs and power claws, I'm going to need another fab bench to keep up with that demand. So I'm going to have Major Mildew uh, stand out here as, as the valid target to make sure that the Sizus don't just chop their way in. But we have 9, 15, and 8 Scythers. Also, uh, I am going to bring Fenwick into town. I'm just going to accept him because him st I don't have time to, to leave him out there. So I'm going to capture him. No, or not. Dude, you didn't have to rip his torso out. Oh well, I tried. He has the same ability as Mike does, so he didn't really have anything novel that mattered to me. Oh well. Okay, Flesh Beasts are here. Let's provoke the pit gate. Avalka. Slaves. Mike and Carthrain. And Major Mildew uh, can go inside because the Scythers now have a valid target of the uh, the Flesh Beast that we just summoned.
little worried that the first group of Scythers are going to win and there won't be valid targets. So if that's the case, Major Mildew stand here as a valid target. Was that the invisible thing? Yeah, uh, Jazz used the Revenant Spine to go invisible so that I could punch him and he couldn't punch me back. But uh, unfortunately, Jazz just liberated the person from his life very fast. Okay, Major Mildew, you are the valid target until the pit gate is opened. Uh, but some of the Scythers are deciding to punch holes in the walls. I hope that they... Okay, I hope that they get bored and they retarget. But for now, what it could do is... Um, I can double up the walls in the spots that are getting breached. So that we don't have a, a flood of Scythers that come in. So I think what the, the problem that's happening right now is... Um, only so many uh, Scythers can target one enemy at a time. So I'm going to send the other uh, the other ghouls out there to become valid targets as well. But I'll send them here. Before that wall breaks. Yeah, they're busting through all the walls. Sixty-five. Twelve. Oh, Crackhead's not going to make it in time. I don't think. Oh, he did. Just barely. Ooh, this is getting slammed. Major Mildew is a bit of a sacrificial lamb. I'll resurrect him soon. Um, come on, Pickgate. Pickgate's taking too long. And then even when you summon the Pickgate, it doesn't like open up to ripple out pit, pit beasts for a hot minute. It takes a little while for um, the, the pit beast to get summoned. So, I am going to be playing a little bit of a game of cat and mouse. Oh, they are breached. Sorry, Brody. You can get beat up a bit. We'll res Brody at some point. It's just a mech. Pretty cheap to do. And now we're just playing... Uh... Oh, you breached uh, through here. How'd you get inside? This doesn't get you inside. How'd this one get inside? Alright, Jazz, come this way. I'm not really sure how it got in. Oh, wow. You lost a lot of body parts from that fight. Nasty. I'll have to have Carthrain and Bionics fix you up. So there is a Scyther in here that, like, somehow tele... Oh, they... Okay, I see how they got in. That door needs to close. Uh, you sorry... You go to area one, close that door. Well, watch out.
And where is that free site there? There it is. Okay, so that door is closed. Yasori is probably going to get attacked by the uh, the Scyther there. And then... Oh, they're all flooding in. Okay, uh, I'm going to double back my um, ghouls to deal with it. Because this breach hole is open and is not going to get fixed anytime soon. Annoying. Oh well. It means we're going to be fighting the pit gate as well. At least we're keeping that scyther out. Alright, so I have my shooters and my ghoul. And then the other ghouls are... Oh, they got hung up. Stop wrecking stuff. Our air dog. Ten self. Pick gate still coming up. Taking forever. These goals up here will be just fine. Another robot down. Jazz, that's the wrong way. Alright, I'm trying to send the other ghouls in as uh, backup. Because we have a bunch of scythers over here. That are not being attacked. Fish is doing a really good job despite the fact that he's under anesthesia. Oh, no, he finally went down. Because of anesthesia, I think. Alright, all of you back to this corner. Sorry, air dog, you gotta hold the line. Okay, the ghouls up north are... Oh, they're getting ambushed. Can you finish already? Dear lord, it's taking a while. Alright, pick gate opening. Right there. There's not too many scythers, they're just causing a lot of trouble. Um, you did not manage to patch yourself at all, but that's fine, because I have Coagulate. There are not too many um, scythers left in the base. Ah, that's not true. There's a bunch here. And the other thing is we're going to want to patch up our walls to lead the pit gate monsters through the fire trap uh, before the um, before the fire trap activates. So Fish is tanking in the hospital. You two can help out. This 
So now there's one in this stock room. There's one. Oh, Carthrain, you are not safe at all. He finished his ritual and ended up getting hunted. Okay, Mildew's back up. Let's pull him back inside. So this is gonna probably be the valid path for the pit gate fire. Um, where's that scyther? Air dog is like blind now. Uh, Scythers. So, one's on a Valka. Got it. Let's go rally that way, then. She's just bruised. Um, she is kind of out of Psy Focus. Not out of blood. Okay, she, that one's down. So there's this one. And that might be it. Um, wounds. For now, I'm going to blood feed on the um, the eventual ghouls because they don't really care. Because I have some patching up to do. All right. Uh, so before the ghouls or before the pit gate opens up, uh, I got some holes to patch. Which will have, uh, it's opening in three hours. So I have three hours to patch those holes. Got it. Yeah, I see the one south hugging the walls. Uh, don't worry, that didn't escape my notice. I'll have the ghouls ready for that. Oh boy, look at this mess. The mech. The Diabolus. In progress. Uh, well, that sucks. All because that door was left open. I mean, I don't regret leaving that door open. It was one of those doors that, like, we typically would leave open, but oof. All right, um, Crackhead, you go for that wall. Hearthrain. You lay on hands, air dog. I do have some holes, like a whole lot of holes to patch up before the, um, before the pit gate opens. So that's what I'm working on now. Jazz. Patch that wall. All right, so Scythers are down, but Picket is arriving soon. All, right, all the ghouls are inside the walls now. Air Dog's crush was healed. Can you heal something important? Oh, you know, it was a uh, eye scar. Never mind, that is important. I take it back. You were right. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Anomaly Death Cult, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. 
If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow cultists.